Right, hello guys, this is Vale from... Vale? Not sorry, this is Jazz from the Jazz Network. Vale being my Second Life character name. Um, and yes, welcome to yet another Second Life video. It's been a while since I made one. And um, yes, um, so today's video is basically a quick view, of m a quick tour, if you like, of my TARDIS. Um, um, this TARDIS itself is one of my... Um, most challenging but yet fun builds. Well, I say builds. Um, I'm more of a modifier in Second Life, so I'm, whenever I get a new TARDIS, I modify the hell out of it. And this is my biggest mod I've ever done. And I'm going to show you two mods I've done. Um, well, actually, three if I show you the first version one of this console, which you can see as a slideshow of pictures showing in a couple of moments' times. And Yes, yeah, so, um, yes, welcome to my TARDIS. And hopefully it shouldn't crash me, the sec this is the second time I'm making this video. And already I can see lag here, oh no. And yes, welcome to my TARDIS. Look at that. This is my McGann Schalke TARDIS and it's a Who system uh, the hands of Omega for many of you who don't play Second Life but just need to know that and um, it's possibly one of the beautiful, most beautiful mods I've ever done as it brings together my favourite um, grungy slash McGann type console which I personally believe the best kind of TARDISes are the ones that are worn out and the ones that you can tell uh, has been travelling through time and space for like god knows how long and yes this is my TARDIS if you may um, I will go into all the technical um, like the technical part of it which people really want to who are on Second Life I know what want to want to know what rotor and stuff I've used and so basically as I do that I'm going to show you one of my favorite parts here which is the takeoff and let's actually use the Statenheim's remote control hood so you can see it properly control F1 and if I can go on my Statenheim uh, take off and look at that. If I can right click on here, can I without crashing? Don't crash. There. Now, with me, one specific one thing I really love about TARDIS is are modifying the sounds as well. So each sound you hear in there is actually um, a collection of many sounds from other TARDISes and as well as the creaking sounds as you can hear. And honestly, this I love this TARDIS to bits. I really do. It's, and um, right now if you can see, hopefully I should put a slideshow now showing you version 1 of this console which is the lighter contrast of this darker version um, that one, uh, mainly I like to think that both consoles like the both variations of the console, that being um, the lighter side as you, the one you can see right now being the Doctor's type of TARDIS and the current one you now you see the, the black um, grungy um, textures and everything it being the Master's equivalent and the reason that I did this um, was um, Sorry, random Skype call from my friend there. And I'm so unprepared, unprepared when it comes to videos. And um, I can tell he's going to send me loads of calls now. So um, basically, yeah, this is a Who build. So this is the Hands of Omega TARDIS. And it uses the beautiful NLS McGann Mesh build, which was released this year. And as you can see, uh, there are rotors you can see the Schalke rotor from the NLS Schalke build and what else is from NLS around here see I do things and I tend to forget about them um, <laughs> and I think that's it the room itself though is beautiful 
and if any of you want to buy an NLS console, please do buy the um, McGann console from um, NLS because it does look spectacular and as well as the Schalke, Scream, the, the Schalke console from Scream of the Schalke as well as the Smith 2, yes the rotors at the top, the spinning rotors from the Smith 2 console um, but yes this one is completely scripted with Hands of Omega scripts and it uses many different um, console like salvaged console parts so as you can see the doors the scanner and as well as the console piece itself if I don't crash ah. well as I was saying the console itself as you can see is the 50x build by Hands of Omega which has been textured and it, it's got it's got many parts belonging to other consoles such as uh, it's, you can see the original Smith D match flight um, takeoff lever. We've got some. Um, what else have we got? We've got the archaic secondary rotor in there, and the lightning sparks. You see, it's actually from the Victorian console uh, from Hands of Omega, and um, this the glowing sphere in the middle is from the junk console as well as the vortex. Um, the vortex lighting, you know, the vortex sparks, all from the junk console. Um, uh, so yes, I use many console parts just to put this console together. And I'm, I've got a feeling I'm going to use the word consoles a lot. Now one thing, that, uh, one thing that always upset me about the McGann console was that it never had roundels. Now as you can see here, I had to incorporate the roundels as well as a, as a black guard. You know, black night guards, which is really cool. Um, and yes, roundels have always been a big thing for me, and I had to incorporate roundels inside them again. So yes, this is my great wonder, my possibly one of my best modifi modifications in Second Life itself. Now, it's. I just love the way how if I when I take off the whole console comes alive so you can see the whole rotor you see the vortex and yes let's try landing the old girl uh, click on that if it loads go remote land mine let's land at one of my reservoir point yes now we just wait Hopefully the old girl should materialize by now. If not, hold on, give me a second. I should get an option now. Steampunk. Let's land the steampunk exterior. Let's pan the rotor up a bit. Isn't that beautiful? I. I honestly, I love this console. I really do. It's, as I keep saying, it's one of my favorite builds, and you know, it's it's great. And hopefully, if I resume making Doctor Two Second Life um, episodes again, this TARDIS will definitely be in it. And yes, so I think that's it for now, really. Um, Yes, thank you for watching guys and oh before before I say goodbye I'll show you my NLS console which I've modified because I, with me I always have to have two systems up. I have to have the hands of Omega and an NLS up. Now, as much as I salvaged the parts from the NLS by putting hands of Omega parts in it, I've also made a NLS a secondary console which hopefully I shouldn't crash second life's been really laggy thank you Linda Labs and um, see there's another version of my night this one's a red version of my night um, oh no no I don't think I'll be able to make it without destroying half the universe there if I just cam over there This is actually the Sharka console by NLS, which I took out the console and placed inside um, one of the NLS add-on rooms. And if I can open this, third, 
power on. into a newly mesh version of myself, really. Um, just for the hell of it, before I sign off for for today, really, um, I'm gonna... Oh, no. I'm telling you, Linda Love, don't do this. There. Beautiful. Um, yes, before I sign off, guys, <laughs> just because it's me, I'm going to show you another version of the takeoff. Uh, come on, old girl. And I still love that. That that still excites me to this very day. I. It's. It's one thing I always said, whenever you want a TARDIS, you've got to make her look old, you've got to make her look ancient, because then, you know, to me, that's what a TARDIS is. It's, um, it's, she's ancient, she's old, she's been through God knows where, to East Space, maybe. And, um, yes, so, right, this is it, this is my TARDIS, so thank you for watching, guys, and before I do, quick shout out to people who want to come to a new Doctor Who Second Life sim. If you're on Second Life and you want to look for cool Doctor Who stuff, visit Oliesti, as well as the, uh, the neighbours, New Gallifrey and all that, because we're officially now a one big Doctor Who um, community. And, you know, definitely come over to Oliesti if you like Doctor Who, you know, chat to any of us. And if you want to, feel free to IM me. I'm called the Valyard or in one word and yes so thank you for watching guys and it's nice to be able to express myself again so thank you you've been amazing people as always and I shall see you soon goodbye <laughs>